It's that time again, your Greater Toronto Real Estate Market Update for March 2023. My name is Morgan Little. I'm a realtor here in the Greater Toronto area who makes videos like this one to keep you up to date on all the crazy world of real estate. Now, last month was the first month we saw an increase in prices since the interest rate hike started just about a year ago. That had many of us wondering, is it just a fluke or a blip or have we seen the bottom of the quote unquote market crash? Well, the numbers are in for March 2023. Did we see another increase in prices? Let's take a look. Starting with the total number of new listings in March, we sat at 11,184, down a solid 44.3% from 2022. Though it is up from February's 8,367, it's still a pretty low number. That brings us to the total number of transactions done in March at 6,896, down 36.5% from the same time last year. And again, it's up from February's 4,783, but not really where it should be at. Now, the number of days on market was at 27, way up 145% from last year's average of 11 when homes were flying off the shelves, but down from last month's 33 days. This makes sense as, we, as we've been seeing more activity happen in the market recently. But with the still remaining supply issue, and as you can see in the numbers of new listings and in the number of sales, this is leading to the second consecutive month of price increases. The average sale price in March was $1,108,606, down 14.6% from March 2022, which as we all know was the peak or rather just coming down from the peak, but that number is almost up $13,000 from just last month in February. So there's no real mystery why we're seeing prices start to increase a tad. We still don't have the supply to feed the demand. That goes for not only having sellers who are ready to sell their home, but also the number of homes being built is not being met. Last month, we noted an increase in multiple offers, and now in March, we're seeing the average sale price being over the list price for the first time since May 2022. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the Bank of Canada's next interest rate announcement coming up on April 12th. Obviously, what they decide will have an impact on what kind of activity we see in the spring market, but either way, it appears that Toronto real estate is not crashing and burning the way some had predicted. So if you are a buyer and you've been waiting for prices to come down, then waiting for rates to come down, I've been saying this for a while, do not hold your breath too long. Don't try to time the market. All right, I got a few more numbers to go through here, namely condos and townhomes in Toronto proper, as well as Vaughn and Mississauga, as I know a lot of my audience is focused on these asset classes in these areas specifically. If you're interested in another area and would like to discuss your specific situation, feel free to book a call by clicking my Calendly link in the description below and I'd be happy to have a chat. Okay, starting with condos in Toronto. Condos in Toronto. Average price in March was $732,944, up slightly from just over $728,000 in February. The new listings were up a fair bit, which was nice, at $2,469. Number of sales was 420 with a sale to list price ratio of 100%, meaning they essentially sold for the full amount that they were listed at. Now in Mississauga, condos fared as follows. Average price of a condo was $614,758, up ever so slightly from February, but barely a difference. New listings were at 330, not a lot coming on the market with 200 total sales and a sale to list price ratio of 99%. On to Vaughn, where the average price was 695,673 compared to last year, last month, sorry, of $671,616. There's 168 new condo listings with 95 sales and like Mississauga, a 99% sale to list price ratio in Vaughn. Now let's take a look at condo townhomes. In the city of Toronto, the average price was $841,872,000, up from $827,395, just slightly up. New listings of 285 and sales of 154 with 103% sale to list price ratio. So you can see where multiple offers have been taking place and having an effect with condo townhomes in the city of Toronto. Now, 
in Mississauga, the average price of condo townhomes, we're talking now, was $828,182, compared to last month where it was only $803,277. So again, we're seeing activity take place in this asset class. 164 new listings in Mississauga condo townhomes with 105 sales and a 99% sale to list price ratio. Up to Vaughn, where the average townhome cost $936,204 in March 2023, which is actually down slightly from February's average of $978,258. That's interesting, actually. 29 new listings and only 12 sales. So definitely not a lot of townhouse action going on in Vaughn. Although last month there was only six sales. Sale to list price ratio was 102%. So some of these sales are going over asking, obviously, but with such a small sample size, it's really hard to draw any real conclusions here. And while we're at it, just for fun, let's take a look at detached home prices. The average home price now sits at just over 1.7 million in Toronto, 1.5 million or so in Mississauga, and north of 1.8 million in Vaughan. Now of those, Mississauga is the only one that's slightly up. Toronto and Vaughan are both down a smidge. There's obviously less of a buyer pool at this price point. So these slight variances don't have a huge impact month over month, but it's good to keep an eye on where things are at, depending on where you're at and what stage of life and home ownership you are. Because we can often start with condos and then make our way up through the ranks, townhomes, semis, to all the way to eventually own a detached home. So it's good to be aware of where things are headed in that area. That about wraps it up. It appears as though things are heating up as TREB, the Toronto Real Estate Board, stated in their recent press release with this month's stats due to the tightening conditions creating more buyer competition. So are you in the market to make a purchase? Are you just thinking about it? Either way, I'm happy to chat about your journey. Feel free to use the link in the description below and I look forward to chatting then. Till then, stay well and stay hungry.